Thanks for joining us for our science lesson today. Everybody say hello. 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 Let's do our meditation. We're going to think about what? Heart center. Heart center. Good job. Left hand in our lap. Close our eyes. When you feel that heartbeat, that boom boom, move your right hand into your lap and keep your mind on your heart center. Let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One. Two. And three. Slowly start to wiggle your toes. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers. Slowly open your eyes. Slowly stand up <laughs> and slowly stretch your arms up high over your head and stretch out all your fingers nice and wide. Good job. Stretch your arms out into a T and let's touch our toes. Good job. Come up halfway so your back is flat and let your arms swing around any way you want to, like monkeys. <laughs> Very nice. Stand up straight and tall. Let's do it one more time. Stretch your arms up high as you can. <laughs> Go up on your toes, get a little bit taller. Stretch out your hands. And put your arms into a T so we can ta ta touch our toes. Come up halfway so your back is flat and swing around side to side. Swing around. 
You are a little monkey. Very nice. And stand up straight and tall. Okay. Stand on one foot. See if you can stand on one foot. Uh -huh. See if you can bend your foot over your knee on the other leg. Yeah, see if you can balance, if you can balance. Maybe try to put your arms out. Pretend like you're a bird or an airplane. You can flap your wings if you want to flap your wings, or you can stay still, yeah. Good job, yeah, if you want to try to hop, you can try to hop. See if you can hop a little bit. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Good job, if you did it, say, I did it. I did it. Okay, good job. Stand on your other foot. Stick out your foot and cross it over your knee on your other leg. See if you can balance like that. You can see if you can jump. You can test your balance by putting your arms out. You can try to jump, yeah. You could try to fly your wings a little bit. Very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, stand up straight and tall. If you could balance, say, I did it. Very nice. Let's do three claps. Three spins. Three jumps. Good job, three steps. Do three little claps. Do three little jumps. Do three little spins. <laughs> Do three little steps. Good job, everybody take a seat. <laughs> In this lesson, we're going to review the life cycles of animals, what animals need to live, and also what our pets need to live. So first, let's think about, we know three things that all animals need. Yeah, they're food, water, and air. Can you help me spell? Food? F-double-O-D. F-double-O-D. Water. W-A-R. And what about air? A-I-R, okay, cool, very nice. Do our pets need all of these things? Yeah. 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 Do the animals that are not our pets need these things? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All animals need these things, even if they're wild animals. Do you remember the word wild? Yeah. yeah. Wild. 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 What's the first sound you hear in wild? wild. Wah, wah, wild, W. I, I, I wild. L, L. L, just one L, that's okay. Wild, what's the last sound we hear in wild? D, e. e. very nice, wild. Do wild animals live in our house with us? No. No. What kind of animals live in our house with us? Starts with a P, yeah. Our pets, p p pets. Yeah, wild animals do not live in our home with us, but our pets do live in our home with us. What letter does pets start with? P. P. A. Close. It's an E. That's okay. Pet. T. T. S. And our pets. Yeah. So our pets live in our home with us. Wild animals are wild. They live out by themselves. Okay, let's think about if some animals are wild or a pet. Okay, what do you think about a tiger? What does a tiger sound wild. like? Wild. wild. Let me hear what a tiger sounds like. Wild. Very nice. What about a dog? Is a dog wild or a pet? A pet. What does a dog sound like? <laughs> Very nice. A rabbit, okay. What do you think about a rabbit? Is a rabbit wild or a pet? Yeah, 
bunny rabbit could be a pet. Show me your bunny ears. <laughs> bunny ears. <laughs> Good job. What do you think about a panda? Is a panda a wild animal or a pet? A panda is a wild animal. Show me your panda ears. <laughs> Here, panda ears. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot of animals. What about a cat? Is a cat a wild animal or a pet? Ah! Yeah, it could be a pet. Some cats are wild, but a lot of cats are our pets. What do the cats sound like? Good. What about an elephant? Is an elephant wild or is an elephant a pet? Wild. Show me your elephant nose. <laughs> mm, that's a good one. Good job. What about a butterfly? Is a butterfly wild or is a butterfly a pet? A pet? Wild. I think he's wild. Yeah, because we don't keep them in our homes. They fly around, right? Yeah. yeah, show me how you can fly like a butterfly. Little butterfly. <laughs> a little butterfly. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What about a shark? Is a shark wild or is a shark a pet? Wow. Shark is wild. Show me your shark fin. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> what about a cow? Is a cow wild or is a cow a pet? Wild. Yeah, it could be. Some are wild. Some can be our pets. Some people have cows as their pets and they drink the milk from that cow. Yeah, so it could be both. What about a snake? Do we have a lot of snakes for wild animals or pets? Yeah, they're a little bit more like wild animals. What about a zebra? Wild animal or a pet? I think a zebra is a wild animal. A zebra, yeah. A which one? <laughs> no, that's not a pet. Oh, a buffalo. Okay, buffalo, wild animal or a pet? What do you think? Yeah, they can be pets. Some can be wild. Pot, what did you say? A bird. What about most birds? Do we have birds as wild animals or birds as pets? Pet, pet. What pet about the me. and what about the birds at our school? Are they pets? No. No. So they could be wild and pets, right? Yeah. Sheep. What about a sheep? Wild animal or a pet? Pet. Yeah, more of a pet. pet. Which one? A fox. What do you think? A fox, wild animal or a pet? Pet. A fox? Yeah. Mm, wild. I think he's a little bit more wild. We did cow. We did cow. What about a tiger? Tiger. What do you think? Wild animal or a pet for a tiger? Wild. What do the tigers sound like? Very nice. Crab. What about a crab? Wild animal or a pet? Little crab. Little crab. They could be, yeah. I think they're a little bit more wild. What about a fish? What about a fish? What do you think? Wild animal or a pet? Pet. They could be both. They can be both. We've got a whole bunch of fish. A whole bunch of fish and pets. We already did count. What about a whale? What about a big whale? Wild animal or a pet? Wild. Yeah, they're wild. They're wild. What about a dolphin? Wild animal or a pet? Pet. Do you know anybody with the dolphin wild. as a pet? I don't. Yeah, I think they're wild. Turtle! What about a turtle? Wild animal or a pet? Wild. They could be both, right? They could be both. They could be wild animals and they could be pets, Pet. turtles. Yeah. What about a deer? What do you think, wild animal or pet? Show me your deer antlers. Show me your deer antlers. Okay, very good. What? Okay, 
Okay, what do you think about a pig? Wild animal or a pet? A pig. What do you think? Pig. Yeah, we well, have yeah, pigs as pets, and then, yeah, octopus, wild animal or a pet? What do you think? Yeah, I think they're wild. Good job. Okay, let's, a horse. Last one, horse, wild animal or a pet? Wild animal. Some people have them as pets, so that one could be both. Yeah, cool. Okay, we know all animals need food, water, and air. Our pets need some other things from us too. Love is one of them. Love, show me love. Love. Yeah, how do we spell love? Show me a little house or a home for your pet. Yeah, they need a place to sleep and a place to be comfortable and feel safe. So they need a home. Home. M and a silent E. They need a home. Our pets, we've got food. They definitely need food. Yeah, they need to play and have fun with us. Our pets need to run around and get exercise and play. P. Great job, friends. Yeah, our animals all need to play. Our pets need to play. We need to love our pets. And we need to give our pets a little home to sleep in. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Okay, we're gonna do a little sorting activity to think about if these pictures show things that animals need or they show things that animals don't need. So we know the three things that animals need. So we're gonna look at these pictures and decide if these pictures have those three things, food, water, and air that animals need or if it's something that animals don't need. So, what letter do you hear at the beginning of the word need? Need. N. N, yeah. Need. And we spell need just like that. E-E-D. We're also going to think about if these pictures have things that animals don't need. They don't need. What's the first letter you hear in don't? Don't. D. D. O. T. Don't. N and then our T. And help me spell need. Good job. So we'll do a few to start with together. What is this picture? What is the elephant doing? Um, eat He's eating bananas. Is eating food or bananas something that animals need? Food. Do animals need to eat food? Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to think about on the board if this is something animals need or something animals don't need. So what do you think? Where should I put this Me. elephant? Me. Yeah, on the side where they... Need, because he needs, what does he need? Banana. Yeah, he needs food. Okay. Banana. Let's take a look at this picture. What is this? Cat. <laughs> what is that cat doing? Eat water. Drink water. Drinking water. Do animals need to drink water? Yeah. Yes, they do. Should I put the cat over here? No. <laughs> no, why not? Yeah, because it's something they need. Very nice. Very nice. What about these animals? <laughs> these are hippos. 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 What are these hippos doing? What are they doing? Dancing. They're dancing. What are they wearing? Skirts. They're wearing skirts. Do animals need to wear 
wear skirts? No. <laughs> no. They don't need to wear clothes. So I should put it over here? No. Yeah, because this is something they don't need. Animals don't need to wear skirts. That's silly. That is silly. Okay, so that's how we're going to play our game. Everybody's going to come up and take a turn. Hold on, one at a time, one at a time, hold on. And then you're going to show everybody your picture, and we're going to decide if it's something animals need or something they don't need, okay? So first, Lacko, we're going to start with you. You're going to show your picture, and you're going to ask everybody what's going on in the picture. So show everybody that picture. It's a tiger. What's that tiger doing? Can you show everybody? Drink water. Drinking water. Also, look at his mouth. What's he doing? Yeah, he's breathing air. Breathing air. Is, he's breathing air. Is air something animals need or something animals don't need? Yeah, it's something they need. Very nice. You can put that tiger up on our need side. Pot, come on up. Good job. Air is something animals need. Okay, Pot, here's your picture. Show everybody. Show everybody. What animal do we have? No, bear. A bear. A bear. We've got a bear. Bear. Yeah, that bear's. What's he doing, Papa? What's he doing? Yeah, he's eating a fish. Show everybody. Hold it up, huh? That bear is eating a fish. So that bear's eating a fish. He's eating food. Is that something animals need or something they don't need? Need. Yeah, that's something they need. Something they need. So where does that bear need to go with his fish? Something they need. All right, looking good. There's our bear with his fish. Come on up, Nadia. Yeah. One turn, I think. Okay, what's this guy? What is that? What is he doing? Swim. He's swimming in the water. Do you think he's taking a drink of that water? Yeah. Yeah, I bet he is. Is drinking water something animals need or something they don't need? Need. Yeah, I think they need to drink water. So show us where that elephant needs to go for drinking water. Where should we put it? Um, you can show everybody real quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, our elephant is drinking water. Is that something animals need to drink water? Yes. Yeah, good job. Okay, down. Come on. Yeah, let's look at our next picture. Here's our next picture. It's a cat. Show everybody the cat. <laughs> what do you see with that cat? What's going on with that cat? Sunglasses. It's got some glasses. And a pencil. Yeah, it's got some glasses and a pencil. Let's see, a pencil and a calculator. Does a cat need those things? No. <laughs> Does a cat do math? No. No. Okay, what do you think? Need or don't need? No. Need. Don't need. Good job, Pancon. No Come on up. Yeah, they don't need that to do that. Math, that's silly. Okay, that's silly. That's silly. Here you go. What animal? Tiger. A tiger. What's that tiger doing? Show everybody what that tiger's doing. What's that tiger doing? Drinking water. Is that something animals need to drink water? Do animals need to drink water? Yeah. Yeah, so which side? Need or don't need? No. Need, yeah, they need to drink water. Good job. Prow, come on up. They need to drink water. They need to drink water. <laughs> Let's see what your animal is. Here's your animal. What animal do you have? Panda. Show everybody what your panda's doing. <laughs> What's that panda doing? What's that panda doing? <laughs> Yeah. What's he eating? Plants. Yeah. Is eating food something animals need to do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, take that one. 
Yeah, animals need to eat food. So is that something they don't need or something they need? Something they need too. Come on up. Great job. Great job. Okay, here's your picture. What animal? What animal is that? Cat. Show everybody what your cats are doing. <laughs> What are those cats doing? <laughs> are those cats eating? Are they eating? No. What? Are they singing? Yeah. Do cats need to sing? No. Is that, yeah, that's something they don't need. They don't need a microphone to sing. That's silly. Back boom, come on up. Come on up. Here's your animal. What animal do you have? What animal do you have? Zebra. With the stripes. Yeah, zebra. Show everybody what your zebra is doing. What are those zebras doing? Are those zebras dancing? What are they doing? What else are they doing? Yeah, they're drinking water. Is that something animals need to drink? Water? Yeah. Do they need to drink water? Yeah. I think they do. Does that go on need or don't need? Need. Okay. Okay. We have one more. Thanks, friends. Yeah, we'll do our last one. What animal is this? Squirrel. A squirrel. What's he doing? What's that animal doing? <laughs> What's that animal, what's that squirrel doing? <laughs> He's playing a trumpet. Does a squirrel need to play a trumpet? <laughs> Does a squirrel need a trumpet? No, should I put it over here? No. Over here? Yeah. Okay, there's our squirrel. There's our squirrel. Oh, I don't know. There we go. There's our silly squirrel. Good job, friends. So we have the things that animals need. What are the things that animals need? There's three. What are the three things animals need? Air, water, and food. Very nice. Good job. So we're going to do a quick worksheet on our life cycles to think about our life cycles for animals. Do all animals grow the same way? No. What do you think? Do they all grow the same way? No. no. All animals are different and they grow differently. Everybody stand up and show me how you grow. Get into a small little ball. Get into a small little ball. And grow a little bit. Grow a little bit more. And grow. Good job. So is that how a butterfly grows? No. No, they grow differently. So we're going to do a cutting out worksheet where we have a few different animals. We have chickens. We have butterflies. We have cats and we have frogs. So students are gonna choose one life cycle that they want to cut out. We're gonna color them, we're gonna cut them out, and we're gonna put them in the life cycle order with some arrows to show what happens first for each animal. So we're gonna color our pictures. I have the butterfly one here. So when I'm cutting out my pictures, I don't need to cut around everything. I'm just gonna cut some squares so I can show each picture, okay? So when you're cutting out your frogs or your chickens or your butterflies, you can just cut them into squares, just like this. You don't have to cut around each part of it. So just cut them into four squares, four squares, and you're gonna color them in, and then we're gonna put them on another piece of paper with some arrows. Just like Lackow did, just like this. Make squares for all your animals. Yep, perfect, perfect. You don't have to cut every single part out. That'll take a real long time. Okay, color them in. Okay. 
Oh, you're cutting them out. You can just cut squares. You can just cut squares, like two is doing. Like two is doing. All right. We're going to glue our, or tape our life cycle animals onto our paper. So our first cycle, what is our first cycle for, for a butterfly, a fish, and a chicken? An egg. So if you have a butterfly, a chicken, or a fish, you're going to put your egg right here on top. Then you're going to think about the next thing that happens to your animal and put it right here. Then the next thing here, and the last thing here, your grown-up animal will be on this side so that we can see that it makes a circle, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Zombie. You're a zombie. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, if you need to get some tape, come on up and get some tape. Come on up here. Take some tape. Just take two at a time and then put your first two things down. Take two. But just do start with two and then you'll come back and get two more. Yeah, start with two, come back and get two more. So first thing on the top of our paper is what? Mm -hmm. First thing on top of our paper is what? What is that? Egg. The egg. Egg. So you can tape your egg up top. Okay. So find your egg. Find your egg. That's the first thing for your chicken. Find your egg. Very nice. So go. you can go grab some tape. Put it up top. Yep. Right there. Right up top. Tape that down. Okay, so you have all your tape, right? Yes. Yep. So what happens next in your chicken? Which one? The big chicken? Which one? The little chicken. Yeah, good job. Good job. Okay, here. Here you go. After your little chicken grows, what does it become? After your little chicken grows, what happens? Yeah. Yeah, it has a hatch right here. We've got our ha little chicken hatching out. That happens next. Very nice. Good job. You can put your name, yeah. With our frog over here. Very nice. So we'll put the next thing over here. Good job. The swimming tadpole comes next. This. Very nice. Very nice. So when you are finished, and you can go grab more tape when you're ready. If you are finished with your life cycle, we need to draw some arrows to show what happens. So after the egg, is it a big chicken? Does that happen after the egg? No. No, which happens after the egg? This one? No. Hatch. Yeah, the egg hatches. So we need to put an arrow like this to show our egg hatching. So draw an arrow to show the direction that your life cycle happens. An arrow looks like this. An arrow looks like this. So you're going to draw some arrows to show the order of things happening in your life cycle, okay? Yeah, when you've taped all your pictures down, you can draw some arrows to show how that animal grows. You can use that. Thank you. You're welcome. I've got some for you here. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Here's one more for you. Got some arrows. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. And you can put your name on your paper. You can put your name on your paper. And also write which animal you use. So chicken. So what two letters do you hear for ch, ch? So if you use chicken, you can put chicken. If you use butterfly, you can put butterfly. Very nice. If you used a frog, you can write frog at the top. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's okay. Tiger. And baby, baby tiger. tiger. Baby tiger, yeah. Maybe baby tiger. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Everybody's all finishing up there. Pot's working on his next one. Here's one. There you go. Pot's working on his next one. Okay. We're going to show our animal life cycles and show how our animals grow. We're going to show how our animals grow. Everybody stand up. The first animal we are going to show growing is the frog. So how do frogs start? How do frogs start? As an egg. Everybody show me your frog egg. Everybody show me your frog egg. Good job. What happens after that frog is ready to open the egg? We hatch. Hatch. Very nice. Then you're a little tadpole that can swim around. Show me how you swim. Very nice. Then you're a little frog who can hop around. Show me how you hop like a little frog. <laughs> then you grow a little bit and now you're a big frog. You are a big jumping frog. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Look at those jumping frogs. Okay, next animal we're going to do is the chicken. How does a chicken start? As an egg, show me your chicken egg. Show me your chicken egg. What happens when the chicken opens the egg? Hatch, everybody hatch. Very nice. Now you're a little chicken. You're just a little chicken. You're just a little chicken. <laughs> then you're going to grow into a big chicken. Now you're a big chicken. You're a big chicken. <laughs> Very nice. What animal can we show next? Butterfly. A butterfly. How does a butterfly start? A. In an A. Then what happens? It hatches into what? A worm. Show me your worm. Show me your worm. Then what does that worm do? Home. Makes a home. Everybody make a home. Make a home so that you can do what in your home? What are you going to do in that home? You're going to go to sleep in that home. Go to sleep in that home. And then you're going to wake up and hatch out of your home. What are you now? You're a butterfly. Show me how you can fly like a butterfly. <laughs> yeah, very nice, friends. Okay, so before we say goodbye, let's think about some things. Are all animals the same? No, different. Yeah, they're different. Do all animals grow? Yeah. Yeah, all animals grow. Do all animals grow the same way? No. No? Different. Different, yeah. Different animals grow in different ways. So how does a frog start? How does a frog start? How does a frog start? Egg. And an egg. What about a duck? How does a duck start? Egg. An egg. Put your scissors down. Duck start. Egg. How does a duck start? Egg. An egg. What about a tiger? Does a tiger start in an egg? No. No. What else starts in an egg? A snake? Yeah. What's another animal that starts in an egg? A snake starts in an egg. Very nice. Good job, friends. So some animals start as eggs. Other animals start like little versions of that animal, and then they grow to get bigger. Okay, good job. Thanks for joining us on our science lesson, and we'll see you next time. Everybody say goodbye. Goodbye!